Talk TV turmoil as insiders fear it will shut after Piers Morgan quits the nightly show. We're going to read into this exclusive for my news, you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an exclusive from iNews with the headline that Talk TV in turmoil. As Indizers fear it will shut after Pierce Morgan quits the nightly show. They warned the channel's days are numbered after Morgan's move uncensored to YouTube, saying it will leave straight jacket of television. Guys, while you're here, before I give my initial thoughts, if you can, hit the like button and share across social media so others are notified of this video. So, the Pierce Morgan has announced that he will know who he will be doing his, uh, his uh, uncensored uh, video, uh, television show that he normally does. It's going to be on YouTube now, and it's not going to be on Talk TV. What does this mean? It means, basically, well, he's looking to gain more money for himself. He knows he's got... a he knows he's got a following behind him, and he was going to keep to it. And um, but why is he leaving Talk TV? Um, perhaps maybe he knows there's a sinking ship coming. Perhaps he knows something behind the scenes that we don't know. And I'm sure there may be one or two snippets in the article that may be. One thing I do know is that these right wing television channels they are struggling to maintain a viewing balance they're struggling to actually gain audiences they may have caught some of the uh, older people within england specifically i don't think they catch so much attention up in scotland i'm just going to go out on a limb there um but they're not they're not a fair the likes of them the likes of gb news they don't give fair balance views it is a they are what uh, many of them are one sided conversations. There's not enough um, fairness within these news channels. Now, I've I remember when I, I when Pierce Morgan Uncensored and Talk TV first launched, I actually used to watch a bit of it. I uh, used to watch some of these shows, and the more the more I watched it, the more I said to myself, What a load of nonsense! Where is he getting this from? And that, that's kind of how I felt as the, you know, the, and, I, and I got to a point where I was just like, why am I wasting my time listening to this man? You know, this man has an agenda against Prince Harry for crying out loud. You know, uh, he has a proper agenda against Meghan Markle. Um, you know, and he was part of the, and he was the editor of the phone hacking scandal. Um, and as among a lot of other things, he walked out when he was, when he, he walked out on, on, on ITV show when he was blatantly pointed out how bang out of order he was um, as well rather than actually accepting ownership responsibility when he gets called out he walked off um, you know that's not really the sign of a very strong person but there are times where Pierce Morgan can actually speak on behalf of the public and he did that during the Covid times during the pandemic which is why so many people were still look at him and see him as a credible person because there's no question that during that time he was very 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 on top of the government when it came to the things we're dealing with with terms of the covid crisis and i'll give him his due then he was very good but he he's just not a very nice person guys he's not and um if this means that talk tv gets shut down while I don't ever feel, um, I want to make it very clear, I don't ever advocate for anyone losing their jobs. Um, and anyone losing their jobs is always a terrible thing. Even whatever you might think of talk TV, um, I would rather that they change their ways and actually be a proper, good, decent talk uh, TV channel. But we know that's not the case because of who their owners are. For those who don't know, type Google Rupert Murdoch and the rest is history. So, yeah, I know. We can't, yeah, I mean, if it ends up getting shut down, it means people are going to be out of a job. One less news channel, but you know what? This is one news channel that people uh, in, I would say, majority of people within the United Kingdom don't want, don't need, and should never have even come to fruition. 
So the Talk TV insiders fear the station could be axed after Piers Morgan moved his show from the struggling Murdoch-owned channel to YouTube, the I can reveal. The presenter said he was leaving the straitjacket of television and shifting Piers Morgan and Sensen online after two years of largely lacklustre TV ratings. Its loss of its biggest star could signal the end of the opinion-led channel, which racked up 34 million in startup costs, but failed to even match the modest audience figures of rival GB News, industry figures said. The one thing that GB News had jumped on the 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 gammon Brexit news has really jumped on the bandwagon. They've got so many Conservative MPs on there. They got Nigel Farage. They got Reform Leader Richard Tice. Excuse me. They got all these Conservatives. Guess how many Labour MPs are have, are on GB News? I'll give you a big clue. I'll give you a big clue. Mm, there's your clue. How many have actually been on GB News? Maybe, maybe one. Maybe one. Maybe. Maybe two. Um. It's a very right wing, just like Talk TV. But yeah, and they even got, guess what, 30p Lee Anderson. How's he doing for himself? Talk TV owners News UK made an audacious approach to buy the more nakedly right learning GB News, which is reportedly lost as a 30 million last year and is also struggling to attract advertisers, I understand. Actually, I take that back. I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it's actually Rupert Murdoch that owns Talk TV. I think it's GB News. I don't think he owns both of them. Um, I'm pretty sure I may, may be wrong on that. But I'll, I'm sure I'll probably get corrected if we keep reading along. A joint venture would allow GB News to tap into the resources of the global media empire, which publishes the Sons of Times and prevents two businesses completing for talents such as Nigel Farage, GB News' biggest ratings winner. However, GB News, owned by Brexiteer hedge fund tycoon Paul Marshall, and Dubai-based investment firm Ligadon has rejected approaches from Rebecca Brooks, News News UK CEO, the I understand. Okay, there, there you go. There's my answer. Um, no, you're not paying attention as always. The GB News owners are interested in influencing the political debate. They don't have the same commercial interest as News UK, said an insider. But there is now a change of uh, channel of communication, so the two don't attack each other leading up to the election. News UK declined to comment. Sources suggested conversations are taking place between the two broadcasters, which has not led to any formal bid. A move to rebrand Talk TV as The Sun TV in a bid to tap into tabloid paper's wider audience has also been considered. Yeah, there was talk about that a while ago, about Talk TV being turned, being called The Sun TV, as in the newspaper now becoming um, a TV thing. But they would really alienate people in a certain city you know, for a certain incident that happened in a certain stadium where a certain group of football fans died and they lied about it. Just putting that out there. Hmm. Last night saw the final nightly uncensored air on Talk TV. Morgan has said he will return on February the 19th on YouTube. He claimed that he was leaving was the unnecessary straitjacket of a scheduled television show adding to the uncertainty of Talk TV's London Bridge headquarters. The owners want to see a path towards profitability, but the viewing figures are stuck in low thousands, said one insider. Pierce has always was always bigger than the channel, and losing him from the schedule has raised fears that the plug is going to be pulled. Tom Harrison, the head of television for media research firm Ender's Analysis, told the eye this will be a big step back for the channel. If you take out Uncensored, there is no indication that many more than around 10,000 people would tune in to its line of feed at any time. This obviously calls for reassessments as to what Talk TV is supposed to achieve and how it is to be distributed. Maybe it makes more sense wholly online, where there is no broadcast code and fewer constraints around the schedule. Yeah, the one thing, if they, if they go online, um, yeah, they don't have the, 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 escape, the, the broadcast code on top of them. That's one thing they don't have. The Guy Guy Fawkes website claimed Rupert Murdoch had personally pulled the trigger on Morgan's TV show because the star was the uh, single biggest budget line item, but his audience wasn't matching his ego. Morgan signed a $15 million deal to work across the Murdoch family broadcast and print operations with a three-year agreement soon to come up for review. His production company shared ownership of Uncensored with News UK. Flocks predicts that Talk TV would be paired back and rebranded following Morgan's departure. News UK declined to guarantee Talk TV future as a live TV channel. 
Scott Talton, the chief executive of the Broadcaster for News UK, saying creating professional quality TV like video that uh, does well digitally via streaming service and social media will be the focus of investment in all our brands, including Talk. He added it's the right decision for Piers Morgan and Centre to go digital first, freeing him from the schedule show so he can create the right content to grow his already huge global online audience. Morgan said the case for moving online was not just compelling but in imperative the vast majority of our audience is on youtube is on our youtube channel which has seen an explosive growth in the past year with 2.3 million subscribers with many views millions of views for our big interviews and debates this in turn has generated increasingly strong revenue he pointed to his interview with rishi sunak in which prime minister appeared to accept a thousand pound bet that asylum seekers flights to rwanda would take off before the next general election yeah that well i've covered that in another video guys that was pretty darn pathetic uh, from rishi sunak it's just a really stupid thing Posted on YouTube on Monday afternoon, it quickly gained 400,000 views, delayed due to the King's cancer diagnosis. The interview was seen by almost 50,000 viewers when it eventually aired on Talk TV. When the Israel-Hamas conflict began, uncensored average 81,000 views and a 0.47% share of TV viewing. But Morgan's YouTube channel record, uh, recorded 97.2 million views from the same October period, benefiting from his com combative interview figures from both sides. <coughs> One quarter of Morgan's YouTube views are from the United States. Yeah, he has an audience in America as well. That's important to remember. The YouTube version of Uncensored will drop in an hour-long form, TV format and may not appear daily. It will air when Morgan has an exclusive interview and feature debates on major stories. He may still pop up live on Talk TV when he covers a significant event and segments from Uncensored will air on the TV channel. Uncensored, which aired at 8pm, launched in 2022 with an explosive interview in which his first guest, Donald Trump. Other headline-making interviews including the 2022 sit-down with Portuguese footballer Cristiano Ronaldo, the full version of which has had nearly 6 million YouTube views, but nightly TV ratings for the show fell below 30,000 views when there was no big-name guest. <sighs> Voters are still to grill Sunak on GB News. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that it's just... <sighs> People are not... Um... The thing is, before I continue further, guys, people are more and more don't want to get their news from these these channels and from newspapers now. People like to get it from online. Hence why you're probably asking, well, that's why people people probably subscribe and watch from my channel. Well, I'm also giving the opinions and my thoughts about things that are happening in the world. I'm also providing news that maybe not everyone goes because the thing is, is that while the online news is now becoming is the future, not everybody has time to go through and read every single article, every single video, and every single story. Sometimes it can just be a case of just watching a 60-second short clip as well. Um, everyone has a different way of wanting to uh, pick up on the information or read information. It's different for everyone. Um, and TV, you know, one thing that people cannot stand is adverts on TV. You know, people, they were, before YouTube, before the internet, people had to endure that. And people are sick of that. Now, you still get it online. Um, you still get it online. It's still a nuisance to people. But, you know, with YouTube and with online, you can now watch things at your own accordance as opposed to waiting for a certain time to watch something on TV. And that's what's happened with generations now. People like to watch things at their own convenience as opposed to just watching it when the TV show comes on. People like to have that control of when they want to watch something, not opposed to... Uh, waiting to watch to something. People like that control. Now, voters to grill Sunak on GB News. Meanwhile, GB News is preparing for what will be seen as an audition to hold a leaders' debate at the general election when it hosts a people forum with the Prime Minister on Monday night. Mr Sunak has accepted a high-risk invitation to face a live Q&A session with voters on Monday night, staged in the Red Wall swing seat of Darlington. The event will be monitored by the channel's presenter, Stephen Dixon, who said this is exactly what GB News was invented for. Richie Sunak can't shy away from any of this. He's going to have to deal with real people, the ones who want to vote for him, saying, this is what I want you to do when you aren't doing it. Mr Sunak is likely to face questions on topics including immigration and from the NHS from a respective audience of GB News viewers, whose applications were filtered by uh, polling groups Serviton to ensure political balance. They will make sure that these are not they will make sure very. They will make sure little to none of these voters are hardcore conservatives, as deep conservatives as they possibly can. They will. They will not want anybody who are in any way, shape, or form affiliated with Labour. It will be a very, a very one-sided audience. I feel.
they may get one or two criticism people, but they will be very selective to the core of the people who get in that audience. Jimmy New says Sir Keir Starmer had been invited to take part in a similar event. Okay. So they have invited Sir Keir Starmer. Whether he'll take that up will be a, a question. The channel will stage more people's following public debate with Boris Johnson set to join GB News in the spring. Tip to play a presenting role. Yeah, Boris Johnson, obviously, we have to remember that Boris Johnson is going to be playing a presenting role in, that, in, in it too. So we should remember that as well. So, what do we think? Well... One of my final thoughts, I guess my final thoughts are obviously GB News is, doesn't look like they're going to be going anywhere. As we know, Boris Johnson's coming on board. Another conservative. Obviously, some of you guys may have already seen uh, by the time this video comes out. Some of you guys may have already, it may have already happened, the live Q&A session. So obviously you can make your own um, uh, thoughts on it. But what I will say is that um, it is, they, they, they're gaining influence and Nigel Farage is a political influence. People look at him. People think he has something, you know. And he's very, he's a, very, he's a grifter. He knows how to talk to people. GB News um, are, are gaining traction in in certain audiences. I don't think they're gaining much in younger audiences, but and I hope they don't. But we have to, you know, they they are towing dangerous lines, and they they are a problem. I, I'd say because they're not. Then they're allowed to get away with a lot of things, GB News, and I feel it's wrong. As for Talk TV, whether or not it's the end of them or not, I think it may. I don't know if it's going to be axed or reformed. The likelihood I'm just going to go out on a limb is probably going to get reformed in some sort. I think that's what they're going to probably do. That's my guess, uh, because they will still want to have an influence in in what's going on. So I don't think it's going to shut. Um, Maybe it will likely change to the Sun TV. A new rebranding, a new team and whatnot is maybe is what they will do, most likely. Um, but losing Piers Morgan and, and his show on there is a bit of a is a damage to the actual channel because it is what something that people go out of their way to watch if they don't have YouTube. But we will have to wait and see what happens with them. So what do you guys make of Pierce Morgan? What do you make of Talk TV, perhaps in turmoil, perhaps changing reformat into something else? What, how concerned are you guys about GB News as well? Let me know what your thoughts are and this story down in the comment section down below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to financially support me in the work I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or joining me on Patreon for exclusive content. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.